If you're looking for a pro in the Fortnite scene that you can look up to and really learn from, then we have the perfect player for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Clix is one of the best players to ever play competitive Fortnite, and he succeeds in pretty much any mode or region that he plays on, placing almost every single time. He does all of this while balancing content creation. Punch a crunch, Sarmi, I'm your motivation guy, and today we're gonna be showing you how to practice like Clix so you can consistently win. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. You know, one of the main things that Clicks mastered to become so good is an absolute dedication to the game and a focus on improving whenever he plays. You know, if you think you have the potential to go far in the gaming scene, then you also need to put in that time and try to balance it out with your normal life in order to succeed. You know, you shouldn't look to really close out your personal life completely, but you should be giving as much as attention as possible to the game. And so this was what made Clicks so good during the days of the World Cup, and it really allowed him to stay so far of everyone in the meta. He treated the game like it was his job, and he constantly practiced dropping a kneel tilted until he was able to say he truly knew the POI inside and out. He made the same rotation every time and he used insane strategies that just put him ahead of the meta. Clicks quickly realized that his mechanics and aim were amazing all because of the hours that he put in, decided to really take that to really elevate it right up to the next level. You know, he made all of his money back from the PC that he was given and he used as much of his time as he could, you know, thinking about how he can improve on his abilities going forward. And so by playing at least six hours every single day, Clicks was able to push himself to the point where he didn't just qualify once for the World Cup, but managed to become one of the few Fortnite players who can say they double qualified for the event. I mean, his career was instantly made from that point. If you want to start your journey to make your career, then you need to check out ProGuides.com. We've got master courses from none other than Clicks himself, which he will take you through everything that you need to know about how to play like your favorite pro. All you need to do to get started is hit the link in the top right of the video. So the primary thing that you need to know about succeeding in the Fortnite competitive scene really is practicing constantly and, and showing complete and utter dedication to the game. You know, the World Cup days that, you know, we were just talking about are gone. Sure, you know, but you should always look forward to the future. Like, how can you expect to perform well in an arena or a tournament if you never actually put in the hours to practice? And so working hard and working nonstop to achieve your goals in anything, you know, is how you do it. And Fortnite is really no different. You know, even the pros have to undergo constant training and refinement if they want to stay on top. And I'm sure many of them, you know, heard the term washed and to avoid your skill from deteriorating, you're going to have to practice just like they do at any cost. You know, pretty much any pro player who has made it big in Fortnite, you know, plays the game at least, you know, six to eight hours every single day and will spend most of the time warming up, scrimming and reviewing any of their mistakes through their bots. Whether it's playing arena for a couple of hours or scrimming with other good players, both will help you, you know, a lot in terms of improving your in-game fighting and game sense. Practicing and creative will also help you a ton, but you're gonna have to be able to take those creative skills and then actually apply them in real games. Otherwise, your creative practice is useless. So to help yourself do this, don't do anything in creative that you can't see yourself doing in an actual tournament game. So things like overbuilding, it's just unnecessary and really it doesn't really help. So just always try to remember guys that practice is the key and that every single pro player, including Clicks, will agree that if they didn't put in the work to climb up the ranks to where they are now, they wouldn't be where they are today and they would just be like a speck of dust in the Fortnite scene. So actual practice methods, I'm telling you, really, really helps. Just like Clicks, you know, back during the World Cup Neo Tilted era of Fortnite, you're going to need to keep landing at a single POI or another drop spot and essentially, you're gonna want to claim it as your own. And so if you think you're really, really good at, you know, fighting off spawn, just like Clicks is, or if you think that you're not quite able to survive in an extremely contested POI, you're gonna need to find the drop spot that really works for you. And once you figure that out, man, you're gonna need to implement a set drop spot and loop path into your practice routine, making sure that you're doing the same thing over and over again in both arena and scrims. And this will help you build up your strategy because you're going to end up knowing absolutely everything about your drop spot and your loop path that you're going to be able to pretty much negate the factor of RNG, allowing you to rely on your skills and game sense completely. You know, Clicks has stuck to this strategy all throughout his career. For example, he's practiced landing at Sweaty Sands over and over again. He'll land there in every single game mode, whether it's in a scrim or an arena. He'll always go for the same house and chest and sweaty, and due to this, will almost always win due to his overwhelming knowledge 
of the location. And so while Clix is our focus for this video, hey, don't make the mistake of thinking that he's the only one that has just honed his skills this way. Like every pro player from Reverse 2K to Acorn has influenced their trios into learning specific drop spots and loot paths as well. You know, Reverse 2K and his trio always look to land at Dirty Dots while Acorn and History will always go down to Slurpee Swamps. Like, the primary reason that these trios have won the past two FNCS tournaments is all because of their drop spot picks and the edge that, you know, they have over the others because of how much they practice them. They will never be contested at any of these locations in stacked lobbies because everyone simply knows how much work they put in than anyone else. You know, they own these POIs and everyone knows that. Bunch of Corn Sami, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the question of the day. All right, today we want to know what you think makes you different from other players and what you think you generally need to work on. Hey, be honest, let us know in the comments down below and we're going to check them out. All right, back to the video. So one of the things that Clicks always did after tournaments and practicing was an in-depth review of all of his mistakes, which always helped him to realize what he could do better the next time he played. This is something that can help any player in any game whether it's Fortnite or whatever, like VOD reviewing is something that should never be overlooked. So what even is VOD reviewing? Well, it simply means, you know, looking back at all your mistakes by watching a replay of your previous games. Though it can also be used, you know, in, for reference to watching other people's games like pro players so you can see what they're doing and, you know, how you can implement that into your play style. VOD reviewing is something that's definitely going to help you guys enormously. We talk about it all the time. And if you aren't doing it already, it's something that you got to start doing. Reviewing your past games will allow you to fix any mistake that cost you during your games. And doing this is an easy way to turn, you know, by turning your replays on and then watch them after you played your game. So while you're watching the VOD, make sure to write down any notes that you have on paper or if you have two monitors on your computer. Those notes are incredibly important since they're gonna help you remember exactly what you did wrong and what you need to change the next time. After you've watched your own VODs, man, you can find some past games or pro players who have done very well, preferably players that have the same drop spot or loop path as you, so you can see what they do differently so that you can apply that in your own games. And so take things into account, things like how they rotate, how they fight, you know, their overall decision-making ability. And all you need to do from this, man, is find a player that streams or just check out their VODs or YouTube highlights. Now that you know what VOD reviewing actually is, you should find some pros to review. If you can, try and find some players who you think are similar to you in skill level so you can really discover if you're really as good as you think you are or if you're overestimating yourself completely. So that way, you're going to have a solid ground to really work from. So by choosing up and coming players instead of only focusing on the big names like clicks, you can see what they did to place better than others, even if they have a similar skill level and mechanical skill to you. Pretty much every single game mode, especially solo cash cups and solo arenas, is about playing as smart as you can. Sure, never back down from a challenge, but also make sure that you're aware of the next zones and the players around you. And so by reviewing more average level players who are still playing better than you, you'll still be able to notice the smart plays they're making that you're not. And so you need to work to the level of players like clicks, or else you won't actually get much useful information from them. Bunch of Chris Tommy, so that's how you should practice like clicks to consistently win more of your games. So guys, make sure you find yourself a drop location that you can make your own, you know, practice consistently, vibe review your games so you can figure out exactly where you're going wrong. You know, following that routine, guys, man, I'm telling you, it's gonna push you up to be one of the best players. The sky is really the limit, so keep going. Hey, if you guys liked the video, subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'm so proud of you guys. I believe in you. Keep going. I'll see you soon. Peace.